Hey guys. Hey y'all. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Davina. And welcome back to Whoosh Bang Pow. We watched Black Lightning. Girl. I can't even with how much I really like this episode. I I mean, you guys know I'm biased towards Anissa. Yeah. I it mean, so much of her. Who wouldn't, it was but who so wouldn't much be? of her. The Fessa Williams is everything. Like Oh my god! I can't gosh. believe I'm gonna see her in person. <laughs> like she's going to Classicon and Nefessa is gonna be there. Oh my god! She is going to. Oh my gosh! So what's your grade? Oh my gosh! It. I am. Oh, you know you want to see it. See it. I really want to give it. it. I, I'm just gonna do it. It's, it's an A plus episode Ooh, for me. He done did it. <laughs> so, it was so good. <laughs> And even with it being a completely non-costume episode, yeah. it was it was phenomenal, except for there's one issue we disagree on. But other, right. other than that, like top to bottom, you had we finally get the the, the mystery. Um a lot of and that's what one of the things that make this episode so good. A lot of the mysteries we had got resolved. Mm-hmm. The Gamby mystery got resolved. Mm-hmm. We got the the father daughter bonding, the training. Mm-hmm. We got Jen had an issue that finally caused her to, to the powers, and it didn't take forever for it to mm-hmm. get to the rest of the family. Like all of those things, phenomenal. And the way it was acted, the way that especially the the father daughter training, and the fact that she shows she's actually listening mm-hmm. to her dad and actually learning on the go. I was yeah. like, oh, it just makes me smile. I was proud with him. Yeah. And then the, the interactions that happened after the Gamby thing and how Lynn, that scene, I was just like, dude, you're not ready for what she's about to tell you. Like, oh my God. And I'm glad that she said, you've got to talk to him. But Lynn's like, I knew, she's so smart. Oh my God. It Okay, the one, it, oh. The fact that these things keep getting stolen and I'm like, how? This is why you don't give an entire thing of powder. I said it from the very beginning. Yes, you did. I said, don't give the whole thing. Keep some for yourself. Put it somewhere else. But no, it was a large little bottle of it. I mean, that was like this much of it. She it, split it that, into multiple tubes. Anyway... I'm gonna let that slide because I need it. But like everything, like the the paperwork was gone. You didn't think to like keep the paperwork secure after the place got like, you know, ransacked during the fight. You didn't think maybe that stuff should be kept secure. Right. That that was the reason you were getting attacked. Just I, for some reason. I don't understand. Like mm. that apparently didn't cut, cross anyone's mind. But the fact that finally when she caught on that it might actually be and the level she pursued it. I was like, she's persistent when she needs mm-hmm. to be at tracking the shit down. Yeah. Like, and went like, she was crossing off this. Like, is it this? Well, maybe you've got it. Well, maybe there's a paperwork back there. Maybe this. And then she finally wore down the girl. Well, I did have an assistant on maternity yeah. leave. So it. And then she got back to Gamby and, and she called him out on it and she put two and two together and then he knew he was backed into a corner and he had to finally tell the truth. I'm so glad we didn't have to wait towards the last two episodes of a season for that to get resolved. If that would have went on another episode. No. I'm so glad it got resolved and now Jefferson's going to have to deal with the fallout. Honestly, the way he explained it, it technically isn't his fault. I'm going to get to the point of what I what I did have issues with. Mm-hmm. I'm still giving it an A+, but I did have an issue with, with Gambit. But before I go into that, I do want to address how much I did enjoy the father-daughter di- dynamic. I, mm-hmm. The one thing I love is as soon as something happened with Jennifer, as soon as she experienced something just really weird, she went straight to her sister. Yeah. Instead of keeping it a secret or going to a friend or find, and it just shows how strong this family dynamic it is. It's so consistently written is yes. what I appreciate about Black Lightning. Uh. Even when the thing that I'm going to talk about <laughs> that really just got on my nerves <laughs> Even though Jeremy was like, well, maybe this, well, maybe that. It's I love the fact that you're willing to try and make things better I for the show, for but a little you'll, bit more than you could. But you'll slam our recaps <laughs> on a dime. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, defend Black Lightning. <laughs> 
But yeah, I love the relationship. I was I was so cussing out her friend. I yeah. was so cussing out. <laughs> you that knew friend. that was gonna happen. Though. I was like, you bitch, <laughs> that thing. And then I was looking, and they showed even the base. I'm like, it's a rolling one at that. <laughs> You are stupid. Get your ass who, down from there. But who's going to see the flyer that far up? Like, that too. The point? I was like, who's going to look that far if up? If she had a banner, I would have been like, yes. okay, that makes sense. But you putting up one little poster on this up there where nobody can get Eight. it. Yes, because nobody's going up there. <laughs> nobody's looking up there. And who can see? I love that they even show how much characters care yeah. about other characters because the fact that it hurt seeing her best friend damn near maim herself mm-hmm. was what sparked her powers was like, oh. Yeah, she could have not- broke her leg or her neck. Jeez. Right. I was like. Uh, and then, and then that- her friend's like, I'm okay. <laughs> like, what? You almost died. That shit kills me. I bounce so that our checks don't have to <laughs> like this <laughs> She's like, she's like, send me that. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Jennifer, you need a new best friend. But it was, everyone needs that kind of best friend, though, right? Yeah, she was. It was. It was good. I. <laughs> and then they still left us with a mystery, yeah. but it was an amusing mystery. The Lala thing. And the Lala with I Lawanda the, thing. Oh my god, the kiss? I was like, no. That threw me. I was like, what? Are you kissing yourself? Like, I don't... It's so odd. The The car ride was hilarious. Yeah. Because him talking to her, her, about the potential of having to kill the two of them while they're driving. Like, but I just... The, okay, that would be the one question that wasn't a- answered. Mm-hmm. I still don't understand. Like, if someone knows the answer or ha- someone has a theory that can explain what the what that is, like how she's put, and then the whole kiss. So odd, but I'm good with that being a mystery because yeah. we've resolved the rest of the stuff. So yeah. that part, I'm like, okay, I'll mm-hmm. I'll I'll tag along with that. And because of the reveal of. The ASA situation. Yeah. We do know my my theory from the beginning of the season is confirmed. Yeah. This whole experimentation thing. Yeah. So we are going to see new manifestation of new metas. And now I'm curious as far as Grace. Is she going to be part of the old crew or is she going to be part of the new crew? Yeah, I'm hoping it's the old crew. Please. I am too. She, cause I, I, Please. Because I would think that she wouldn't, like I said, eventually they're going to water supply it but i it would make sense if she you know got vaccinated at yeah. some point with something that had it in there then she could be part of the older crew mm-hmm. so i'm i'm very curious to see how that helps yeah or did she move i can't remember she moved into town i think they said she moved into town so she wouldn't have been vaccinated unless she Freeland used to live there and then moved away and came maybe. back though. i don't i i don't know that would be an interesting question so that brings me to the point of my issue that frustrated me yes in the very mm-hmm. last act Gamby. So Gamby, unless I, because I only watched it once, so unless I only, unless I misheard Gamby, he said to Black Lightning, you have to stop being Black Lightning now. If they find you, they're going to kill you. If they find your, if they find Anissa, they're going to kill her. If they, you know, they're going to kill your family, basically, because you're Black Lightning. You now need to go into hiding. But Gamby's the one that pushed him into being Black Lightning. And this is where Jeremy's trying to justify it of saying, well, he's just trying to prove that Black Lightning's a good experiment. I'm like, no, 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 I, I understand that. But if he knew that by exposing Black Lightning would put him in jeopardy eventually, like, I can't believe this is all because Lady Eve got killed. He put these things into play again, and then now with Anissa, and then not telling them that, hey, if Anissa actually ends up being a superhero she's gonna ultimately put her, her life in danger you think if you told the parents that that might have influenced the decision of lynn saying train your daughter mm-hmm. or maybe informing anissa that if she does this her life's in danger no matter regardless of how you feel about helping you know freeland and and the people in freeland you're gonna die because of it like at least let these people know what their options are instead of like saying it because you got busted by Lynn and and you know you you have no choice but to be honest like I still like Gamby but I don't like the way they wrote that at all like it just made no sense because the entire first half of the season has been Gamby championing Black Lightning wanting Black Lightning to 
save the residents of Freeland, and now this. So, excuse me if I'm going to point that out and go, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you can't say that you did it to protect him when ultimately you put him in danger. You put him in danger because you're being selfish. She has feels about this I have such <laughs> feelings about it. Because, <laughs> like I said, and I reasoned that it's... it's <laughs> I was really passionate she about was that. Really, <laughs> she was really, really upset, y'all. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she... Like I say, I reason the fact that it's very likely that his reason for having Black Lightning there was to kind of more retain some of the other fuckery that was going on in Freeland. And the intention was always to still play a role he's probably played all the whole time, which mm-hmm. was basically aim him at the stuff that needed to be resolved so that it was still keep the people overall safe mm-hmm. and hold the status quo. And particularly the way that Mr. Guest starring Hollis Doyle, as soon as I saw that who played that fucker, I was like, oh, this is not going to go well. But um, seeing him and his name, I don't care what his character's name is on this show, he's always going to be Hollis Doyle. because I don't watch that show. He's I'm from Scandal. Yeah, I'm sorry. So that's why. But seeing him come up and make the comment over, they should be grateful to be experiment. I was actually kind of, I was shocked, but I don't, I shouldn't be with this show anymore. Shocked, but pleased that they actually went into the experimentation that has happened in some mm-hmm. communities. I was like, they're really going in with this show. It's, it, it does create a kind of murky situation. It's like you're not allowed to create a villain and go, don't be bad. Like, you can't do that. You can't do that. Which is kind of what it we're feels gonna like give, a we're little gonna, bit. We're going to give you immortality, but don't you be bad because you're a villain. Right. <laughs> there are rules. And I feel like... like what? I feel like that's going to come into play, though, as the season continues. Because, yes, now Jefferson knows, but... Pretty sure there's going to be an interesting reaction yeah. once Whale also finds out the same and truth. I feel like they're kind of of that foil. I I can't. So it is going to eventually be a the agency needs to be taken down thing. So the agency's like the hand. Yes. And they created a villain, and they wanted him to be a villain. Okay. But they also I wanted get it. The, so you have the two sides. But now that the two sides are not maintaining status quo, the two sides are actually doing a this or this kind of seesaw situation. No, that still doesn't make sense because they always felt like Black Lightning was a threat. They always wanted Black Lightning dead. Why the hell did Gamby try and get Black Lightning to be Black Lightning again? I don't he think they the always... He knew the end result. That's the thing. I don't do think they always wanted Black Lightning dead. I don't think that has come up until, like, recently that they want him dead. They thought he was dead. That was why... You know what I'm but saying? But they also thought Whale was dead. So... What are you talking about? They're the ones that gave him... Am I confused? Or did they not give give Tobias the serum to stay we alive? We may both be confused. I don't know. Because but that's it, the difference, though. That's what I'm saying. Tobias, like this, but Tobias staying alive also allows them to be able to more easily but he was do oh, drugs and everything else in the but, community and but, still experiment on people. Okay, but he got promoted under the guise that he killed Black Lightning. Mm. So, again, the agency always wanted Black Lightning dead. <laughs> and Gamby then said, be Black Lightning. <laughs> oh, shit. The agency knows you're alive now. I don't, I just, that's, I don't. I don't know, though, I if the agency wanted understand. him dead or did Whale want him dead. That's the question. Because Whale also No, Lady a... Eve wanted Black Lightning dead, too. And Lady Eve was middle management to the agency. Mm. This okay, fine. Murky. You try and justify it. You try and justify it. I'm and trying. Make, I don't make know. me sound like the crazy woman trying to speak reason. I'm just trying to pick it apart a little bit. It doesn't quite... It, man... is, it doesn't quite gel. One Maybe plus there... one makes four. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> there's additional... Obviously. Maybe there are additional integers that we don't know about <laughs> to go into the equation. Obviously, Jeremy. <laughs> yes, there are there are things at play we have no clue about. So we need. <laughs> there are unknown unknowns. 
spent weeks. But the thing, but here's the frustrating thing: if you're gonna write it that way, at least allude that there are things outside of this agency. The other problem is they got people every fucking where, even with the, yeah, whatever the coroner. My head hurts. <laughs> we have walked this in circles. I am not. We're just going to wait until how this resolves itself. It, there's going to be more. It's still an A-plus episode, regardless. Yeah. Regardless of 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 any nitpickery or yeah. any... It's a fucking A-plus episode. Yes, it is. Speaking of wait. loving gay characters, yeah. I need y'all, you all need, hmm. to view Love, Simon. Like... Okay. Uh, I was, it, was, it was my plans to watch it, but I was going to do Tomb Raider, maybe. Oh, Before. I mean, that's that's happening, too. Uh, I just got to see it because it had early showings last oh. weekend, okay. and yes. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Oh, okay, so you know I've been saying happy 2018, people? Like, happy 2018 and all of this queer content. Yes. The other shoe fell. Arizona is not going to be on Grey's Anatomy after this season, so thanks for getting rid of that queer character. Mm. I know they have a trans character, but... It's just not the same. Like, uh, you're getting rid of a le- like the lesbian character that I really loved on mm-hmm. Grey's Anatomy. <sighs> Here it starts. It begins. Mm. It begins, people. That's so sad. Anyway, <sighs> if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, share with your friends. Let us know what you thought of our, his rationality <laughs> and my emotions. <laughs> About some of these things. My emotions. (laughs) I know I'm like being a stickler, but it's just like you can't write a character a certain way for half of a season and then all of a sudden reveal that and we go, oh, well, that's just because he was hiding it all along. That to me is weak. Other (laughs) shows do that better. As much as a lot of people have issues with it, the show got better and better and better and better and better better as it went on, but. Season one of Agents of Shield actually did that successfully with how they course corrected that what's his face was a plant the whole time. Oh my god! Don't even go. Don't. But stop. I'm just saying. Like, no. Have you even seen the whole first season? Yes, I have, and I refuse to talk about that because that frustrated the crap out of me. Anyway, Ah! I still loved it. I still loved it, but I was like. Anyway, I liked it though. I did like it, but you could see the signs if you I go, did when see you go back signs. and rewatch it. We didn't it. see the signs for Gambi. Yes, true. He had these side things, and you thought something was a little off, but he was always like cheerleading, Black uh, Lightning. And you didn't realize him. how he forced under him it was. into it. Yeah, he like he, he kept forcing him into this, and then it's like, oopsie, did I do that? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, Urkel. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, uh, let us know what you thought. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are we doing okay with these recaps? Are you hanging with us? This will probably be very edited because this turned out to be way longer than we thought it was going to be. But, I mean, that does it for now. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.